Welcome back to Deep Thought. We're going through Donkey Kong Country 2. And whilst it may not be the month of haunting anymore, the spooks will always go on. Ooh, spooky, scary Kongs and jumping down your spines. Freaks and creaks that shot your skulls, so seal your doom tonight. Grim grinning ghosts come out to so Grim grinning Kongs come out to socialize. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to that song, so I'm just gonna sing along in the same key. I was singing. I, t I went to Haunted Mansion right then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just fucked it up. Oh well. Well, this is the Gloomy Gulch world, um, and this contains probably my favorite set of levels in the entire game. And this is probably my favorite level aesthetic as well. Like, th this is a an absolutely gorgeous level. Like, look, it's like a darkened woods. Look at the, the foliage. It's so bright and colorful. And, and the lights, the sunlight in the background. It's a very, very nice touch. And these things right here, the ghost ropes, are the most adorable things I've ever seen in my life. They look like snakes. No, they look like really long sperms. Also, hi. Oh, you're <laughs> actually here. Yeah, I was uh, playing man. the uh, organ in the background. That wasn't the game. That was just me being... Well, trying to be creepy and failing because I uh, absolutely shit at playing the keyboard and my fingers kept missing the keys and I suck performing. You gotta get good. You gotta get God. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought that would be the first example of organ commentary on video games. Well, that spooks is gone, but oh god, spooky tree. That's the organ saying hello. It has a... F it has a face. So, um, yeah, I, I really like that introduction level. It's probably one of my favorite levels in the entire game. This one, too. This um, um, song reminds me of A Night on Bald Mountain. I love that. That's from Fantasia. It's the it's the Chernabog scene from Fantasia. Well, more specifically, it's uh, Night on Bald Mountain. Uh, I can't remember who composed it, but it wasn't... It wasn't made for Fantasia. It's just. I know it wasn't made for. It wasn't made for Fantasia. That's just where it's most known for. Actually, no. I don't remember. I didn't watch Fantasia growing up, and I still know the song because it's in other things, and it's a good song, and I like. You know, music from. I'm not sure if it's classical baroque or. Uh... I I think it's like a. It's like a mixture of like classical romantic pieces. Yeah. I think In the Hall of the Mountain King is in that movie. It might be. No, I'm talking about Night on Bald Mountain, not Fantasia. Oh, well. Oh, okay, then. Why My would mistake. I be talking about Fantasia? I fucking hate Disney. But that's actually good. You were the one who brought it up. No, I brought up Fantasia. She just brought up Night on Bald Mountain. I, I, love, I love how the thing went backwards. Yeah. Yeah. These are. This is probably the hardest set of bonus stages in the entire game. Cause um. Also, the also this one's a lie because it's a to collect everything. You didn't collect everything. I mean, you missed a well, lot. You you have like a set number you have to collect. I I don't think that that rare are that close. It said collect all. So. It said collect the stars. It didn't say collect all the stars. It, you don't have to be so technical, Stefan. Also, I like this level because uh, I like being chased by Crackle or whatever his name is. Cackle, I think it is. But I like how this is like the only like frantic of the minecart levels because music means a lot to this kind of level. And so having a scary theme in a minor key um, at a fast yeah. pace sort of, you know, it makes you scared. Kind of like the one in the first game the minecart level in the first game, that was also in a minor key, and so, you know, it just kind of helps you feel doomed. Yeah, it works perfectly. This level aesthetic is also the only one um, in the entire game, like this library of sorts, and oh god, we're going so fast! Oh boy, oh. Gotta go fast! Yeah, I think I did do this on my first try, but this requires super flat, fast reflexes, so no shame in Failing that. First yeah. try. Yeah. And also getting to that is that bonus room is also tricky. It's on the bottom track, but it's really easy to get to the top track because it has like an arch. 
This is where the game stops holding your hand from the first game and literally just starts going ape shit. It's part of the pun. As I in, like, <laughs> the level design gets really... I won't say bullshit or anything, it's not bullshit, it's just really difficult from here on out. Yeah, we mentioned in the last series, talked about, like, difficulty and challenge. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2, it does that incredibly well, as well. And but it's much harder. I mean, yeah, I, I think the difficulty kind of starts ramping up, may, like, somewhere in the third or fourth, fourth world, like, earlier yeah. than it did in Donkey Kong Country. But this is where it really gets, you know, hammering the nail into the coffin. Yeah, especially this level. Oh, Web Woods, is it? No, it's Gusty Glade. No, this level's fun. Uh, the one I have nightmares about is Web Woods. Fuck that one. This one, it's not too bad. Although it can be quite difficult at times, but I never had as much trouble as I did with Web Woods. Fuck that stage. Yeah, well, we'll get to Web Woods in a, in a little bit, but I, I, I think that the only trouble here is that you kind of have to memorize which direction the wind is going to go in this level if you don't want to get screwed over. You don't really need to memorize it. Well, I mean, I, I suppose so, but, like, it all depends on the position that you are, with, and it that determines which direction the wind will be going. So, it, it's just... I mean, it is challenging, don't get me wrong, but it can be... If you're not accurate enough and you're not careful enough, especially, it, it just can be... Well, you can get screwed over, as I said, quite easily in this level. Um... So, I mean, for that reason, I don't care for this one too much. But again, this level aesthetic is just absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have the little sunlight that the first level had, but it still looks beautiful. One thing I'll say is for a haunted world, apart from Haunted Hall, none of the levels have scary music. Like, um, this song here in the bonus stage is scarier than... Um, uh, I can't remember uh, what the actual song name is in these levels. This song isn't scary. Yeah, I mean, well... No, what's the song in uh, the forest levels called? Uh, uh, shoot, shoot. It, forest Interlude. Oh yeah, Forest Interlude, yeah. Yeah. It's not scary, but I still love it. It's a great song. Yeah, it's probably my favorite song in the entire game. It's just this fantastically composed um beautiful synthesizers a nice little tribal drum beat that we get in like the middle of the track and a nice key change at the end it's just absolutely gorgeous um key changes are awesome yeah key changes are the best i wish pop i wish modern pop music used that more <laughs> you get lucky if they use a separate chord you mean like dixie was just doing right now Eh, that's well. No, she stayed in the same key. This it's it's music talk. Why is um, why is there a college in a haunted house? Why why is there not college? Why is there a school in a haunted house? It's not a haunted house. It's a haunted area. Haunted where world? Maybe this area just gets a really good education. Oh, it, it it's foreshadowing because Wrinkly becomes a ghost. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I could go with that conspiracy theory. Is this Haunted Bees? This is Squawk's retarded cousin. Uh, I call him Squax. <laughs> uh, this is Squawk's retarded cousin because he can't shoot nuts. All he can do is fly down. So he probably has a syndrome that forces him to keep moving down at all times. Or maybe Diddy and Dixie are just that fat. I tried calling it Down Syndrome, but apparently that name's already taken. <laughs> Or, may uh. or maybe he's just not this strong. Maybe he's like a baby and like they're so fat they're pulling him down. No, he's retarded. Down Syndrome 2. That's rude. Get even more down. Down Syndrome 2, down harder. Okay, now we have proper squawks. Yeah, proper squawks. Um, th This level just, in honestly, it's kind of out of place for me. I mean... It's shit. Yeah, it it's not one of my favorites. And like I said, I don't care for the, the Hornet levels in general, because... Yeah, this is the worst of them. Yeah, the fi yeah again, the filter's just distracting to me. I mean, it looks nice, but... Meh. And, and there's only, like, one color going on as well. It's just various shades of yellow. Well, orange. Yellow and orange, and... 
Well, the Super Nintendo can certainly do those colors well, unlike the NES, but still, it's not that much interesting to look at it. Well, you're comparing a system with a really crappy uh, graphics processor with one with a really good graphics processor yeah. that has... The Super Nintendo has more colors available at any time than, and in general than the Mega Drive, so you'll generally see more colorful games, although the Mega Drive's processor is better, so fuck you, Nintendo. You can take your colors back to Autism Land, which is ironic because Sonic has... Sega has Sonic. Too soon. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think it's too soon. I, I think it's too late. Not, that, that, not enough. Too. The Mega Drive is Master Race. I don't care what anyone says. Well, how about the Master System Race? I, I, I just find Console Wars to be incredibly petty. Like, just play whatever game you want on whatever system you want. I, I won't judge you. There are thousands of other people that will, but I won't. Even won't, but I will. Yeah, exactly. So if you want judging, come to me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to mention anyone specifically, but if you if you just want to out yourself right there, then, well, it's no skin off my back. Judgment! Eternal judgment! You didn't get all the Kong letters. I'm very disappointed in you, even. He's king. I mean, Kong letters only net you lives, and as we stated before, lives don't matter. Yeah, but game. you're supposed. This is supposed to be a hundred percent run. Not getting all the Kong letters. Yeah, I technically you can still get a hundred and two percent without getting all the Kong letters, but it's still not a hundred percent playthrough. So he has to get yeah. ninety nine. If he gets ninety nine lives, then it will be a hundred percent. No, he has to get all the Kong letters in every level, <laughs> and he's well, failed. So, but the game doesn't. But the game doesn't save that information. Um. Yeah, the thing is, though, like <laughs> that, that, that that that'd be that'd be like saying in Mario World where you have to collect all the Yoshi coins. Yeah, you do. But what's the point? It doesn't save anything. That only nets you an extra life too. You don't have to get them. Mario Advance. If it, it, you're not completing the game. If it if it was Mario Advance two, then it'd be different because it actually saves all of the coins, but. Not in regular world. Uh, so, um... Fuck this level. <laughs> I mean... No. Don't justify it. It is fucking terrible. I think the only problem with that this level has is that it's just kind of slow. Like, and I like long. Squitters. I think Squitters is a cool guy. Squitter. But like Sorry. Squitter. Squitter. Thank you for correcting me. I think that he's um, just kind of moves around a bit slowly, especially with the... Um, his... And the platforms are inconsistent with how long they last, which is a pain in the ass. Yeah, and uh, word of advice, always aim high, because it's like the, this level is always going to go higher and higher and higher and higher. Um, and probably my least favorite part about the level has to be the way that you get into the bonus rooms, because that takes forever too, as we're going to see. At least the music is good. Yeah, the music is gorgeous. And this fog, I honestly could do without. You know, I think it's funny. Like, when I played uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, like, way in the past, before it became, like, one of my favorite games of all time, when I, when I was still a dumb kid, um, I think this was the first level I played. Like, I remember this level specifically, because I just remember there being a lot of fog and there being a lot of monkeys. So, yeah, I, I guess I can give credit where credit is due, but... Nowadays, this level doesn't irk me, but it's nothing special either. And, oh my god, that is the world's wow. slowest moving cannonball. At least we got to hear a whole loop of the song. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, but it doesn't do a whole lot of good for the pacing of this show. Oh, and of course, we're going back to the Bramble place again. Just randomly put the Brambles in there, okay then, game? It, it like I feel like they're just so satisfied that they made this these gore. I mean, they do look good. The brambles do look good, but they do tend to get overused. You're overused. Oh, uh... all overuses that level theme. I fucking hate. I hate subspace emissary. 
Uh, uh, nah. No one. Uh, it's well. Subspace emissary is okay. No, it is not okay. It's the great maze that's bad. No, the whole thing is boring and. I didn't think it was boring. It is boring. But I didn't think it was boring. Well, you're wrong. That's rude. I know. <laughs> uh. Oh, the rare logo. I just had to put it in somewhere. Those clever bastards over there at Rare. Uh, actually, it's Rareware. <sighs> okay. Actually, Thank it's Ultimate Play the Game. No, that was before. Oh, you got a DK coin. Yeah, and I think we mentioned that before. Sometimes they're like the bonus, at the end level bonus. And yeah, we yeah, did. Some, sometimes I go by super, super, super fast, and it's kind of annoying getting them. Anyway, um, this boss battle is pathetic. Is that ghost? Is that a ghost bird? It can be a pain in the ass to avoid some of the attacks, honestly. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's um, <laughs> the bird. Yeah. So it's like there's no difference between the actual ghost birds and. Well, I mean, sorry, the ghost birds and the actual birds, living birds, so... Uh, the, the, this guy may as well still be alive. He's, he's just transparent, except he can still be hit. Yeah, exactly. What's his name again? Uh, Creepy Crow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's a ghost, so it's creepy. Ooh, spooky. Oh, and yeah, these eggs do, are a bitch to dodge sometimes. But yeah, it's like, I mean, I guess this is slightly better than the the dumb recolors of the first game, but still. I mean, he does explode though, so now he's dead for, for permanently. I like explosions. In the GBA version, actually, when you beat Crow the first time, he um, his ghost comes out of him and it flies away. Oh god, so spooky. Well, we'll see you guys for the next part of this thing, and that it's going to be a long one, so stay tuned.